Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayers for Friday, March 5th. Let's prepare ourselves for prayer. Long ago you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish, but you endure. They wear out like garments, but you are the same and your years have no end. Psalm 102 verses 23 through 27. Let's be still and aware of God's presence within and all around. In the silence of the early morning, your spirit hovers over the brink of the day, and new light pierces the darkness of the night. In the silence of the morning, life begins to stir around me, and I listen for the day's first utterances in earth, sea, and sky, and in the landscape of my own soul. I listen for utterances of your love, O oh God. I listen for utterances of your love. Amen. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning, Rick. And reading from Leaning In, Letting Go, a Lenten devotion by Nicole Massey Martin. Generous grace. She quotes the first verse of Isaiah 55. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you that have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. She was five cents short, but he paid for her entire meal. She was at the airport going home, and a good Samaritan came out of nowhere, handed his card to the cashier, and said that everything was on him. On top of that, he gave her a few dollars to get an extra snack for her trip. She stretched her hand out she stretched out her hand to give everything back to him. This is too much, she said, not certain of what he would want in return for his unmerited kindness. Please take it, he answered with a smile. God's been good to me this week. As she held the money in her hand and waited for her food, she was overcome with the weight of her unworthiness. Unearned generosity can make us feel deeply unworthy. We're brought into a culture of reciprocity that can make us feel awful when we cannot participate in equal exchange. We know that it is better to give than to receive, but life is easier when our giving stays in stride with our receiving. When we commence the journey of life with God, we enter into a life of unparalleled generosity. Nothing that we give to God even comes close to what God gives to us. In the economy of God, the covenant is our currency, and those in relationship with God are the wealthiest of all. We enjoy this luxury because of Jesus who confirmed the covenant by giving his life. What do you need to release in order to lean into the generosity of God's love? Right now, God offers access to those who can't afford entry and allows us to purchase what we need without spending a dime. So do not waste another moment. Come now and enjoy the bountiful love of our gracious God. Jesus' words cannot express how grateful we are for your loving sacrifice. Because of you, we can live in the abundance of life with God. Help us to model that generosity towards others 
as you have so graciously done for us. Amen. And I'm reading from Psalm 30. A David song. I give you all the credit, God. You got me out of that mess. You didn't let my foes gloat. God, my God, I yelled for help and you put me together. God, you pulled me out of the grave, gave me another chance at life when I was down and out. All you saints, sing your hearts out to God. Thank him to his face. He gets angry once in a while, but across a lifetime, there is only love. The nights of crying your eyes out give way to days of laughter. When things were going great, I crowed, I've got it made. I'm God's favorite. He made me king of the mountain. Then you looked the other way and I fell to pieces. I called out to you, God. I laid my case before you. Can you sell me for a profit when I'm dead? Auction me off at a cemetery yard sale? When I'm dust to dust, my songs and stories of you won't sell. So listen and be kind. Help me out of this. You did it. You changed wild lament into whirling dance. You ripped off my black mourning band and decked me with wild flowers. I'm about to burst with song I can't keep quiet about you. God, my God, I can't thank you enough. And in response, the poem from the Psalms for the Struggle, titled The Word of Her Mouth, the collection. And this poem is titled Favor Ain't Fair, and it's by Marilyn Pagan Banks. She quotes Psalm 30, verse 7. By your favor, O Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face. I was dismayed. And she writes, Being strong means taking a beating and still showing up in the meeting room with a smile. God, please don't do me any favors. If being strong means working two jobs, having a side hustle, and still robbing Peter to pay Paul, God, please don't do me any favors. If being strong means holding my shit together right and tight like Spanx, while my breathing stays shallow and my voice restricted, my body agonizingly rigid, God, please don't do me any favors. If being strong means fighting day after day after day with no real wins on the board, God, please don't do me any favors. Favor ain't fair. Favor ain't easy. Favor ain't for punks. I'm tired, God. Like you, I want to look away, to not see, to unsee, to forget. Is this even possible? How do you do it? Want to do me a favor? Put me down as a no for the morning dance. I'm not going to make it at this time. My heart is shattered. My soul is fatigued. My body is traumatized. This strong mountain needs to rest. Sila. Maybe next time. Thanks. Anyway. Favor ain't fair. By Marilyn Pagan Banks. Kind of two sides of the same, same song. So let's reflect on our Lenten devotion, on our psalm and poem. If 
for the night followed by the day, for the idle winter ground followed by the energy of spring, for the unfolding of the earth followed by bursts of unfolding. Thanks be to you, O God, oh God, for rest and wakefulness, stillness and creativity, reflection and action. Thanks be to you. Let me know in my own soul and body the rhythms of creativity that you have established. Let me know in my family and relationships the disciplines of withdrawal and the call to engagement. Let me know for my world the cycles of renewal given by you for healing and health, the pattern of the seasons given by you for the birth of new life. Let's pray for the coming day and for the life of the world. In the busyness of this day, grant me a stillness of seeing, O oh God, in the conflicting voices of my heart, grant me a calmness of hearing. Let my seeing and hearing, my words and my actions, be rooted in a silent certainty of your presence. Let my passions for life and the longings for justice that stir within me be grounded in the experience of your stillness. Let my life be rooted in the ground of your peace, O God. Let me be rooted in the depths of your peace. Amen. So what passions for justice, passions for life and longings for justice will stir in you today? And as we find our feet planted and rooted in the peace and grace of God, may this day be blessed. May your weekend be a blessing and you a blessing to all those you encounter virtually and mask to mask in the world. Have a blessed day and hi.